Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, this is the fourth podcast episode and today is an extra special day because it brings me great pleasure to announce and welcome our new co-host, Alicia. Um, Alicia has been with us on the marketing team for a number of years now, uh, working on our web team as a web executive. Um, Alicia, um, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I think I've been working here almost two years now. Come January, I will. Anyway, so yeah, it's nice to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, Alicia and I are you know, relatively close when it comes to our virtual offices, I guess, if that's what you can call them now. Um, so it's it's going to be a, a great time hosting alongside you, Alicia, I'm sure. Um, but I mean, as I said, I already know everything there is to know about you, but I think the audience could probably do with a little bit of a, of a refresher there. So um, I've got a couple of uh, quick fire questions. Um, so I'm just going to need, you know, your first answer that comes to your head straight off the dome and then we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, I think I'm prepared. Are you mentally ready? Uh, maybe. Can I just like run around the block warm up first? Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what? We'll, we'll break here for 45 minutes. You run around. That sounds we'll good. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, are you ready? Question one's coming up. Yes. Drum roll. Okay. So, Alicia, mm-hmm. uh, when you're not working, um, how do you like to spend your time? Oh, I do... I do a number of things. I'm one of those people who mm. never has any time to sit down and do nothing. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I'll start off with the boring ones first. I love going to the gym, swimming and like dancing. They're brilliant. Those things are amazing. All the dance classes, they're so much fun. Um, <laughs> I I also teach salsa up in London, which is amazing. It is literally my world. I love it. It's so, so good. So I do that like a couple of nights a week. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm converting a van so I can live in it. So that's me in a nice little nutshell. Yeah. I read books a lot as well. Excellent. Trashy books. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that leads me quite nicely onto my next uh, question, actually, Ooh. which is what are you currently reading? Um, I am reading, what's it called? Um, it's from this author that I knew when I was a kid. Um, Mm -hmm. He wrote the Aragon books and I loved them when I was younger. And he's just brought out this new one, which is called like the fork, the witch and the worm or something like that. And I'm I'm like, I'm on like page one and then I decided to go to bed instead. So I am about (laughs) to start that book. I have no idea if it's any good. And yes, it is aimed at children, but I do not care because I loved that author when I was younger. So I'm like bringing it back. Just yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the best books in the world are written for young people, anyway. So, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's not limit ourselves. Um. Hell no! <laughs> that young adult fiction is life. Honestly, it's brilliant. absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, what was the first concert you attended? Concert. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to show my geek. nerdy side here. Okay. Uh, first <laughs> concert I ever attended was actually at Cambridge Folk Festival. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Um, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't need to laugh directly in your face. So. <laughs> You're gonna laugh off screen, like put yourself on mute and laugh. Yeah. Then thanks. Okay. Um, no, I was uh, at Cambridge Folk Festival, and I think Bellowhead were playing. Who was like this amazing pop rock folk band? Um, they have they've broken up since, so so it was a long time ago, but. They're still oh, making damn. incredible music as individuals. And they did a get back together concert the other like on, during lockdown, which they did on like YouTube, and it was amazing. It was so, so good. And I was dancing around the living room with my mom, which was uh, fantastic. It was so much fun. We looked Obviously. a bit stupid, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> excellent, anyway. excellent. Um, I guess then, um, what is your favorite word? Ooh. Okay, the first one that springs to mind, which is, I know my least favorite word, but okay, the first one that springs to mind is archaic. I don't know why. It's just a fun thing to say. Ooh. And also because I read a lot of fantasy books, it tends to come up quite often. <laughs> so <laughs> archaic language and all that kind of stuff. But my least favorite word is moist. Uh, oh, oh, it just gives. I think a lot of people don't like moist. Yeah, I think it's just the way, like, falls out your mouth it, you can't even say it's <laughs> moist it's like bleh. it's moist. like throwing up a it's little also, bit it's got like a bit of a vomity vibe to it yeah, you're absolutely right vomit actually. vibes yeah. yeah yeah that's it mm. yeah 
But Although to be fair, it usually only describes nice things for the most part, like a like moist slice of cake or something. A moist but towelette. It's been. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, fine, you've convinced me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> See, gross. It's just gross. <laughs> you know what I'm out. I don't like it anymore either. Um, yeah, it's excellent. Nice. And I, I guess one last thing then. Okay. Um, what is one thing about you that surprises people? I don't know. I think I'm a bit of an open book. Um, mm. uh, but, but let's say everyone's on page one. What's coming up in like chapter two that they might be like, wow? Probably that my sarcasm can get a little bit too rude sometimes, and I take it that inch too far. Maybe that's that <laughs> might be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the people think that all people think that I look very like um, homely, quite Christian, wholesome, and all that stuff. And I'm I'm less so. I'm less wholesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's it. I'm less wholesome than I look. That would be the thing. <laughs> yeah. That is actually uh, quite surprising, to be fair. Um, I know I was shocked. Yeah, um, horrified, I would say. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, yeah, thank you uh, so much, Alicia, for sort of, um, you know, telling the world a little bit about yourself. Um, you know, again, Alicia will be here for... Well, the foreseeable, really. So yeah, you're stuck you know, with me I'm now. Sure be... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can't get rid of Paperwork's all been signed. You can't go back now. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. So um, yeah, today we'll be welcoming our guest Agnes, who features on our upcoming TV advert, which is due for release on Boxing Day. Um, Agnes also joins us today as part of our current Black History Month campaign um, that we are sort of running throughout our university. So enjoy the rest of the episode. Um, take it away. How are you doing today, Agnes? Not bad, thank you. Yourself? I'm fine, thank you very much. I'm very excited to, to have that chat with you today. Um, and um, for those of you, I mean, actually, you definitely won't know, but um, Agnes will um, actually be starring on our upcoming uh, television advert, which is due to be released on Boxing Day. Um, and we'll also be talking a little bit about um, uh, Black History Month, uh, as um, it's definitely something that the university is is treating with quite a high level of importance this year. Um, so it'd be great to find out a little bit more, um, you know, uh, from you, Agnes, about, you know, what Black History Month means to you and, um, you know, uh, the ways that you, you like to celebrate. Um, but yeah, before we get into that, um, Agnes, could you tell us a, a little bit about yourself? All right. Um, so I am Agnes, obviously, <laughs> as you, you know, you know already. Um, I've been in the UK not long ago, getting to two years now. And uh, I've been studying studying with with Arden for the past one year, and I've had an amazing experience since my studies, and I look forward to enjoy more actually as time goes on. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, br- brilliant. What are you studying, Agnes? I'm studying accounting and finance at the moment. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> and um, which year of your studies are you in? Uh, I'm in London, one of the London City Centres, which is Holborn, Holborn City okay. Centre. Excellent. Um, which year of your studies? Um, I've got two more weeks to go to complete my um, foundation year, and then I'll begin oh, with my, um, you know, my main course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. And um, yeah, um, Alyssa, do you want to? Did you have any questions as well? Um, yeah, sure. So, um, you, you're studying, are you studying with us blended learning? Is that or online learning? Blended, blended learning. learning. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, do you have any advice for any other people who might be interested in either studying, uh, blended learning or online? Yeah. I think first of all, you need to understand what we, you would like to do study, the core that mm-hmm. you would like to study. Because for what I know, um, if you don't really, if you're not interested in what you are studying, it's so mm-hmm. easier for you to drop out on the line. So it's very necessary to, get, first of all, know what you would like to study and your reason for studying it. So in case um, you feel like giving up, you know, you just revisit your reason for beginning in the mm-hmm. first place, then, you know, that that, should, that will motivate you to carry on. And for whether you want um, online or um, face-to-face on campus, you need to assess yourself first, you know, which one you would mm-hmm. love to. Because with um, online, it le- it needs a lot of concentration. Like if you're at a time mm-hmm. that when you're at home, you are you hardly concentrate with maybe you having people around, the kids, mommy, daddy stuff. 
you know, mm-hmm. it, it might be quite difficult for you to concentrate at home. So it will be easier when you do the face to face. For me, both works because my parents don't really step that much. So <laughs> it's just a matter of me telling them, hey, I'm learning. So you shouldn't bother me. <laughs> and <that's it. laughs> so yeah, for me, both works. And yeah, you just have to assess yourself, yourself as a person and then know which one mm-hmm. will work best for you. Absolutely, absolutely, and um, yeah, we, we mentioned earlier that you were part of our new TV advert um, that yeah. was up in Man- you filming up in Manchester. So, so. Exactly. How 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 was it? How was it being a part of like a television career? Well, was it, it was you know in the beginning I was feeling very nervous, you know, coming to meet new people, um, see them from other places together with the crew and you know people who are um adding staff members. I was feeling nervous in the beginning, but when I got to the place, it was like, "Whoa, I've met my family. <laughs> Everybody was so nice. I, um, I, go, I went there. I, the moment I got there, I was like, oh yeah, I'm with other people. You know, <laughs> kind of feeling. Yeah. It was, I, I, all the nervousness just vanished to nowhere. I don't know. <laughs> so I, felt, I felt so comfortable and I enjoyed myself. Seriously. I really enjoyed every bit, every second that I was there. I really enjoyed myself. It was fun. So the advert is coming out on, Boxing Day. Um, will you be like tuning in with your family then on on the on yeah, the yeah? You know when I got home <laughs> two days later, when my dad saw that I was back. Two days was like two, two days later, he was like, "Do you guys have any link that I can go and look and look what what you did?" I was like, "Okay, you just wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they- <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> they have to edit and all of that. <laughs> just wait." <laughs> So yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it, and my family is looking forward to it too. So yeah, excellent, excellent. Yeah, we'll we'll all be right there around our televisions, uh, alongside you virtually for sure. We're all super <laughs> excited. Um, yeah. Um, so um, I, I know obviously you did your 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 studying via blended learning, um, and you know you were up in Manchester. Was it is it one day of shooting? Was it two? Or was it three days? Were you in Manchester for three days, Agnes? Uh, I was there for two days. Yeah, okay, I had two, two yeah, thirty eight and then the first. And how was that? Um, you know, planning your sort of the filming around your studies then. Oh uh, yeah, so um, the filming didn't really um, interfere anything with my studies because um, oh. yeah, I I studied Mondays and Tuesdays, and the filming was um, Thursday and Friday, so I just had to take some days off from work instead. Excellent, excellent. Oh, really nice. Did you um, get a chance to look around Manchester while you were up there? Yeah, I did. Um, uh, uh, on the last day, we completely we finished earlier, mm-hmm. and you know they said so. I had chance to, I had a chance to, you know, move around Manchester a little bit. I went to, I, I went to visit the uh, cathedral, and I nice. yeah, and some shops around there. Yeah, it's a nice place actually. Mm-hmm. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I haven't really spent much time in Manchester, but um, I'll definitely be checking out the cathedral now that you've mentioned it as well. So I'm sure it's lovely in there. Mm-hmm. Um, excellent. So um, yeah, it, it's October, uh, which means two things uh, for most people. Um, uh, there's Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, and uh, more importantly, we've got Black History Month as well. Um, so um, Agnes, yeah, we mentioned at the top of the show that we, we'd love to find out a little bit more about you know, what does Black History Month mean to you? Right. So let me begin by saying I didn't really know about Black History Month until I came mm-hmm. to Europe. Yeah. Back in Africa, I, I though I'm I'm sure they were celebrating it, but I wasn't paying attention. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> until I got to Italy. Because Italy they make it really big, you know, especially the blacks mm-hmm. in around the area they make it really big celebrating Mandela's Day and all of that so yeah Mm -hmm. that's when I I began hearing about Black History Month and you know yeah and how they celebrated um they were mainly focusing on you know trying to honor the great black people that are known worldwide Mm -hmm. so coming here I think I, I had um I've got to have um new you know new vision let me say about the whole thing. Like, I have new opinion. I have new um, idea about the whole Black History Month. Right. So for me right now, I think um, Black History Month is more than just remembering people, you know, but it's more of, um, you know, trying to educate the young Black people out there, including myself, 
um, what our predecessors have done and what we need to do. You know, the mm-hmm. things that we, we mm-hmm. need to do. We need to showcase to the world all our potentials and all of that. Our predecessors have already done this, right? Regardless, whether they were great or not, they, they, they are done and they are gone. And we have some mm-hmm. that are still making history. So we just have to learn, you know, and do much better than what they've already done. So I think that's mm-hmm. what, um, Black, Black History Month is all about, you know, that, to create that awareness and to educate not okay. only Black people, but to also the whole, the, the world, um, as a whole, you know, to let, to let them know that, hey, hey, we Blacks too can do something and we've already mm-hmm. done something and we, we hope to do greater things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, are there any um, black public figures that inspire you at all? Yeah, number one, that would be uh, black American anyway. Uh, Oprah, <laughs> Oprah Winfrey mm. really inspires me. That oh, woman, yeah. yeah, she really inspires me. You know, anything that I see her is like, oh yeah, I can't, you can't get there too. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and one one other black American, not <laughs> <Black laughs> American as much, right? Um, that would be um. Indris Elba. Yeah, I, I like oh. that, that guy a lot because um, I like his um, public opinions about black stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really <laughs> like that. Mm-hmm. He's that outspoken. He's also kind of dreamy as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely He's helps. an definitely actor helps. anyway. So. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, fun fact, it just always is British. He's not American. So. Yeah. And I, I yeah. realized it. And when I was, um, I realized he was born in London. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I didn't even yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I think he grew up in East London. Yeah. Correct, H- Hockney, so. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, so he's a local, he's a local lad. He's a local lad. Um, yeah. There's a, there's a great choice of that. I think Oprah and, and Idris are, are, you know, incredibly sort of inspirational, I think, for, for many reasons, as you said, not just for the work that they do, but for the things that they say as well outside of, you know, their, their roles in, in, you know, television and, and whatever. So excellent, excellent choices there. Um, so, um, you know, obviously us being a digital first, you know, university and us doing these big sort of social media um, sort of like promotions for Black History Month. Um, are there any... Um, uh, you know, sort of pages or, or accounts that you follow that that talk on these subjects that we that you think would be good for other people to to learn more about. You know what Black History means, and or even what what as you mentioned, you know what sort of great things uh, Black people are doing at the moment. Is it, do you have anything like that? Yeah, um, on Instagram, for instance, um, mm-hmm. you, can, it's, you can search for me, there are many actually. Yes. But I, I used to follow this. I don't know if I still follow them. Um, this way that it is, they call it Black Man Can. I think they, okay. they really, you know, they really showcase, you know, most of the time, Black guys are, are labeled with this stubborn thing. You know, they're always stubborn, always involve mm. themselves in, you know, bad stuff. But they, this page actually, you know, showcase like their family lives. What, the, you know, not necessarily the image that um, others have created about them, but beyond that particular image that they, they are family people, you know, they care about the society and all of that. Yeah. Black man can. That's what I, I follow. Yeah. I and we, we have other, other, other pages too. When we search for black, black history, have many mm-hmm. pages on Instagram, for instance, that, mm-hmm. you know, they showcase, um, our legends, let me say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. About their lives and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. I mean, w- will you be doing anything to celebrate uh, Black History Month at all this year? You got any plans? Or? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. with you. <laughs> That's a great point, actually. That's a very good point. <laughs> uh, excellent, excellent. Um, well, I think that about wraps things up um, on this end. Um, Agnes, it's been a real sort of pleasure um, sort of speaking to you about all of this stuff, including, um, you know, uh, finding out who some of your inspirations were and such as well. Um, if people want want to find you on like social media, where, where, where can they where can they follow you? All right, uh, I have two Instagram accounts. <laughs> one oh, is, excellent. One, one is <laughs> one is very personal, so I don't really share it. Uh, another page that I n- normally, you know, I love nature, so I try to take pictures of the little things that people don't really see nothing in it. You know, they they see that it means nothing, so I try to take pictures of those and the places that I visit and post them. 
And that is, after all, one, uh, one, four, three. Yeah. After all, one, after four, three. All, one four, three. Yeah. Nice. So do you take um, uh, photos from in and around London of nature? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm definitely going to follow you now. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. Well, thank you so much for coming onto the uh, podcast, Agnes. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here today. Um, I've had a really nice time. This has been great for my first podcast. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Alexis, as well, for letting me be your co-host as well. I appreciate oh, it. It's okay. Yeah. The choice was definitely mine to make, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, inside you're raging against the authorities. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, well, yeah, uh, thank you so much, Agnes. Um, it's been really insightful speaking with you. Um, and yeah, we'll also be posting the links um, of the pages that Agnes mentioned as well in the uh, description box of the episode. So we'll, uh, everyone will be able to take a look at those pages like uh, Black Man Can and, and Agnes's uh, photography page as well. Um, yeah, and I'm absolutely looking forward to, to next month's episode uh, with you as well, Alicia. I think um, it's been pretty great having you on here. So um, it should be a, a good one sort of moving forwards. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's that's about it, really. Um, <laughs> so yeah, have a great day. And um, as per, please just um, follow us on all of the social medias you'll be seeing um you know and keep an eye out for the advert unboxing there as well everyone uh i'm sure uh you, you can eating celebrate christmas them. turkey right yeah, exactly Sitting yeah eating your leftovers <laughs> yeah <laughs> feet up on the sofa stick on the tv and watch the advert on repeat absolutely absolutely yeah the, the more times you watch it obviously the better it will be for us and mm -hmm. for agnes so um exactly. yeah, everyone, everyone needs to record it now and uh, put it everywhere as well but um yeah thank you so much everyone and we'll speak to you all again soon